Bob with Whole Earth Harvest and today we're going to be talking about winter mushrooms. We have uh, mushrooms that grow in the wild that grow in the winter time here in Oregon. Uh, a lot of mushrooms grow in the spring and in the summer and in the fall. Most commonly in the fall are like the chanterelle mushrooms and in the spring are morel mushrooms. And uh, But in the winter time there are some mushrooms that grow in the wild uh, that grow typically in southern Oregon area. Uh, and there are three of the winter mushrooms that are known as uh, black trumpet, also hedgehog, and yellowfoot. We also have truffles, uh, Oregon black and Oregon white truffles that grow in the winter time as well. They don't get ripe until it gets really cold. Kind of interesting. Uh, so I wanted to show you some of those mushrooms, talk about them a little bit. Uh, uh, the black trumpet, this is a, a, a partial box of a, a black trumpet mushroom. Uh, you can see why they call it the black trumpet because it is dark, almost black in color. And you can see why it's also known as a trumpet because it has a trumpet shape to it. It does not have uh, any sort of gill uh, underneath it. Uh, and it grows uh, on the uh, southern Oregon, northern California border. And uh, this mushroom is commonly used a lot with red meat, like steaks um, and dishes that would use a red meat type of type of thing. Uh, it is uh, a mushroom that grows uh, typically at around 40 degree temperatures. Uh, this year in Oregon, we've had extremely cold temperatures. Right now outside, it's 33, and this is in the middle of the afternoon. So. Uh, our nighttime temperatures right now are down to 18. That's not real cold if you're up in the upper Midwest, but for Oregon, which is a more uh, moderate uh, climate, that's pretty cold. So there's a little bit of uh, uh, battle going on right now to get the winter mushrooms. Uh, the, um, the buyers are all fighting to buy everything they can. So this is the black trumpet. Uh, this is a nice dry mushroom. It's not very wet. If it's too wet and slimy, then you know, potentially there's some issues with that. And you will, you will find uh, pine needles in the black trumpet because it grows in the pine forest. You will also have to, if you're gonna buy black trumpet mushrooms and you wanna clean them, you'll have to split them open and get out any sort of pine needles. This one was clean, but oftentimes there's pine needles uh, stuck inside the bottom. And so you wanna get those out before you use those. Uh, another mushroom we have in the winter time in Oregon is called the hedgehog mushroom. It's a yellow mushroom. Uh, it's a pretty good mushroom to uh, replace the chanterelle when the chanterelle season ends, which is over. Uh, and it's a yellow mushroom. It has a, uh, a, a flat cap on it. It's a fairly firm mushroom. And the reason they call it the hedgehog mushroom and I'll get some that has a little more pronounced look to it, is that the underneath side has uh, these little spires sticking out of it all over the place like a hedgehog does. So that's where it gets its common name as a hedgehog mushroom. This mushroom can get a lot of moisture. It grows up right near the snow line. Uh, as the snow retreats, the foragers work up the mountains and, and harvest the hedgehog mushrooms. It also is in the forested areas and can have a, a pine needle or two on it as well. Uh, you will occasionally find some that do have a little bit of the, the forest debris on the bottom. You can clean that off or, or trim that off. Uh, mostly they're pretty, pretty clean mushroom. Uh, and this has got a good flavor, uh, kind of almost a nutty kind of flavor like a, like a chanterelle. Uh, you definitely want to clean them up good and use them in any dish you would a chanterelle. And then there is another mushroom that's actually a variety of a chanterelle. It's called the yellowfoot chanterelle. And the yellowfoot chanterelle, uh, here's a, a box of those. And it gets its name because, as you can see from this specimen here, uh, the very bottom is very yellow, hence the name yellowfoot. Uh, and it then becomes darker as you go and it has the, the gills like a chanterelle. It is a variety of chanterelle, although a lot of people, a lot of the chefs, don't particularly care for uh, the yellowfoot 
as a great replacement. It tends to be a wetter mushroom and the moisture, it holds a lot of water in the mushroom. That's common. So if you get yellow foot and you're going, wow, there's a lot of water in the mushroom, uh, that, that's the way they are. They just grow that way. Um, they, can, they can get fairly large and be dark and not be yellowing on the bottom. And that's still a good edible mushroom. This one here, for example, is quite dark. Uh, other ones can be quite yellow, on, particularly on the stem. And, uh, um, you know, they're a pretty good replacement, a little lower cost mushroom than the hedgehogs are. So in conclusion, here on the, on the winter mushrooms, uh, again, we have all three varieties of the winter mushrooms here. The hedgehogs, the black trumpet, and the yellowfoot. Uh, you can go to our website at wholeearthharvest.com and, and uh, get each of these. You can purchase those there. Uh, you can also look at all kinds of other products that we have there, whether it's the um, uh, other cultivated mushrooms, a variety of uh, gourmet uh, specialty mushrooms, um, and um, truffles, which we'll talk about here uh, in our next video, as well as uh, teas and various other things. So again, if you want to learn more, go to wholeearthharvest.com. Thank you.